Hey, good morning, friends at Clearview Community Church. Uh, Gil Nash here with uh, One Challenge or OC International. We are uh, so thankful for you and so thankful for the many years of partnership that we've shared together. We wanted to send you uh, just a short eight minute video that we hope will kind of give you a feel for what things are like for us. We're actually here in, in Colorado, in Colorado Springs, and uh, we're continuing our work with, uh, with OC, and uh, God is doing some good things, although it's challenging in this time. Uh, we're mostly working from home at these days. But uh, God is still at work. Uh, so I have three vignettes here in this video for you. The first one is of Pastor Rajendra. Uh, he is the director of our Nepal church planting uh, ministry. And uh, he's just sharing a little bit about COVID-19 and how it's impacting Nepal. And uh, he and some others are partnering together to distribute food to day laborers who don't have enough food to survive and don't have the work to pay for their food. Uh, so that's really a significant thing. And his English is a little bit broken, but we hope you'll be able to understand him. And then uh, comes KP, who also has uh, a little bit difficult English, but we hope you can kind of get the gist of what he's saying. He does the ministry in the Loba region with uh, Tibetan people, and he shares a little bit about the fear that's up there and um, how they're uh, just praying for people and helping people to know that God loves them. Uh, and then finally, there's a vignette with Karen in it doing a webinar for our people with OC around the world where she shares um, on a way to help deal with stress and anxiety called breath prayers. And, you know, God's breath is a significant thing all through the scriptures as he breathes life into people and as Jesus breathes the Holy Spirit upon his disciples and as the word of God is God breathed. And uh, she pairs that with scripture and using our own breath to help us to regulate our stress. And so we hope that'll be a helpful tool for you. But most of all, we want to say thank you so much for loving us. We are thankful for you and our partnership. We hope you have a wonderful day. This is Pastor Rajendra Malla from Nepal. We're fine, although we are staying at home uh, due to lockdown. So we are facing problem by uh, COVID-19 coronavirus. Every day, many people are affected in Nepal also. So we are praying for your country also. So. Uh, during the lockdown, many uh, people are with, uh, staying without work. They are daily wages, daily worker. So they don't have food, they don't have work. Without work, uh, they don't have anything so, so that. So we have been uh, helping them, but we didn't have suff sufficient fund for them. So that please continue prayer for them and pray for Nepal. Thank you. God bless you. Dear praying partners and supporters, warm greeting from KP, Sirizana and family in Nepal. We are um, so thankful for your uh, presence in our life. Uh, the COVID-19 is a very fearful condition in Nepal. We are ministering area in Loba people uh, nearby China border, Tibet, so that people and children have so much fearful condition. Uh, we have a faith that God taken aside for us. Uh, he, he cared for us to know about the Jesus in that time, so that uh, we have a, a faith that we, we are doing a ministry continues. Uh, in the in that place and worship the Jesus there and uh, no need to fear uh, because we are God's eyes God protect us and uh, we share about the people in the Psalm um, 91 he care for us and do not fear so that we are so happy So now we just want to give you another opportunity for another tool to, um, to, that you can use during this time, and that's breath prayers. And what breath prayers are is just combining our breath with our connection with God and his word. So with our breath prayers, 
As we breathe, we have an inhale and we have an exhale. And as we inhale and exhale, we are going to create a prayer that goes with that. Here are a few examples of a breath prayer. So with, with the inhale, we might say to ourselves, the comforter. And with our, as we exhale, we might say, is here. Or another example would be, as we inhale, we say, my shepherd. And as we exhale, we say in our, to our, in our minds to ourselves, guide me. Um, so those are some examples. We might also take a scripture and put that to a breath prayer, like the Lord, as we inhale, is my shepherd as we exhale. So today you're just invited to create your own. So we're going to begin with the second part first, and that is the exhale. So what I'd like to ask you to do now is to just close your eyes and um, turn to the Lord and just ask the Lord what it is that you need right now or what it is he wants to give you. So just ask him what you need or what he wants to give you. Or you can ask him to bring to mind a passive a scripture that he has for you. So as you notice that and become aware of that, um, you're going to take that and just craft it into a short phrase, a few words or more, short enough to say to yourself during the exhale. So you can just um, do that now. And if you want to just write that down, you can just write it down or just think of it in your head as you have that. And now we're going to get the first part or the inhale. And what I want you to reflect on now is a title or role of God, an aspect of God that is comforting or meaningful to you right now. So it could be Father, it could be Jesus, it could be Holy Spirit, it could be Shepherd, it could be Emmanuel. Um, whatever um, role or title of God that is meaningful or comforting to you right now, that's going to be the first part of your prayer. So just pick that now. And then we're going to put those things together with your breath. So I'm just going to pick um, the comforter is here. That's one of my favorites that I use all of the time. And so I just encourage you to take a few deep breaths as you use the breath prayer that you just crafted, you and God crafted together. But just take a few deep breaths as you say to yourself your breath, your breath prayer. Just notice how you feel now. Notice your awareness of God and your connection with him. So there's one more tool for you to use during this time. 